hello welcome back i'm gonna read this story called clifford goes to dog school i'm emily elizabeth and this is my dog clifford clifford is a very smart dog he can do tricks he can beg he can shake hands you really should see him play dead he's good at that I thought he was perfect, but my aunt didn't agree. She was a dog trainer. She said that no dog was perfect unless he had been to dog school, like her dog, Sandy. Clifford was too big for regular dog school. So my aunt said she would train Clifford herself. First, he had to learn to heal. He had to walk next to her on a leash. That leash was a little too short. Auntie got a longer leash for Clifford. That leash was a little too long. Poor Auntie. Auntie said we would come back to that lesson. Next, she told Clifford to sit. Clifford is very smart. He sat. Luckily, Clifford didn't sit down really hard. The man wasn't hurt, just surprised. Auntie said that Clifford was pretty good at sitting. Now he needed to learn how to stay. That meant not moving until he was told to move, no matter what happened. She told him to sit and stay. Auntie said she had some good books on dog training that I should see. We went to her house a few blocks away. She had so many good books about dogs. I love to read. I guess I was so busy reading, I forgot about Clifford. He was still sitting and staying. He knew he had to sit no matter what happened. Sandy moved, but Clifford stayed. Even when a Frisbee flew by his nose, he stayed. And Clifford loves to chase Frisbees. Even when some dogs and cats played near him, Clifford stayed but it was hard. Back at Auntie's house, I suddenly remembered Clifford. How could I have forgotten my dog? I ran back to Clifford as fast as I could. I wasn't very careful. I forgot to look both ways when I crossed the street. Clifford saved me. I guess Clifford will never be the best trained dog. But to me, he'll always be the best dog in the world. The end. Thank you.